and welcome to WPLMS update. In the latest 1.8.3 update, we have added inbuilt caching in the theme. Since WPLMS works on BuddyPress, WooCommerce, and other plugins, it requires a lot of resources. The demand for the resources can be reduced by implementing caching on a server level. So if we just compare WPLMS setup with a 2014 setup so as you can see in a WPLMS setup in the members page we have about 133 database queries if we compare this to a 2014 model we have about 99 queries so the increase in queries for WPLMS is mostly because of the custom information that we are fetching for every user since the bulk of the queries are being sent by buddypress optimizing buddypress alone will help in optimizing wplms so in this tutorial we're going to discuss about the strategies which we have implemented in the theme for caching and how we can make the best use of caching to speed up your wplms site so in the theme you can enable the caching from the miscellaneous section and you can set the cache duration in seconds if you want to disable the cache duration you can set this value as zero so we recommend the cache duration to a higher level if your site is big and you want to take advantage of in theme caching so in WPLMS we have added two level of caching so first is the object caching which requires which requires uh, object caching to be enabled in your server and the other is the database caching so for example on a course directory page if you see the individual blocks of the course we have cached the individual blocks of the course in in an object cache and the whole of the query and its result are being cached in in the database to take the full advantage of the caching you should install a plugin like w3 total cache if there is no database caching enabled in your server wordpress itself provides a mechanism to save the caches in the options panel which can be tracked from from the admin panel by using a plugin called transients manager and you will be able to track the transients created by the course directory in the transients manager similarly the caching has also been implemented on the backend so when you edit any course we are caching all the complex queries which are required for course settings such as the unit list and the quiz list these all are also stored in the transients manager so as you can see the expiry for these transients is set from the miscellaneous section that we set in the options panel now the important thing to note is that although we are caching these queries these are still being saved in the database so to take full advantage of the theme in theme caching we recommend you to install a database and a object cache plugin such as w3 total cache so if we simply activate the w3 total cache and enable the database and the object cache and save the settings now if we reload our course directory so the first time you can see the database queries have gone up and now if we reload it again you can see that the database queries have come down to a massive amount that is because now we are using the database cache 
and the caches are not being stored in the WordPress database. The decrease in the amount of database queries is also because we have also enabled object cache which is which is presenting the each of the modules and reducing the database queries by a further big amount. You can furthermore improve your site performance by installing PHP accelerator such as Varnish and installing a better database caching mechanism such as memcached but as you can see for smaller installations disk based caching mechanisms which are provided by w3 total cache suffice the requirements for smaller websites that's it from wplms tips thanks for watching